So this is the corporate overreaction. I had a different title for this segment I'm doing, but I think this is the correct one because what we're seeing here is just virtue signaling on nitro. They got a nitro boost, just shooting into the supercharger, right into the turbos going, just spooling it up. Everyone's virtue signaling except me. I guess maybe I am telling you that I will refuse to freaking kneel Maybe that's my own virtual signal. Whatever. Don't care. Let's move on. Here's from Justin Bieber. I've benefited off black culture. My style, how I sing, dance, perform, and my fashion have all been influenced and inspired by black culture. And then Mark Dice says, have they accused of this weenie of cultural appropriation yet? No, but the jury's still out. And it's only June of 2020. Next. And Dave Chappelle had to open up his big stupid pie hole. I didn't even listen to it because I already know what he was going to say. It was just a freaking 8 minute and 46 rant of him saying how bad white people are. Screw you, Dave Chappelle. You piece of human trash. Best known for pleasant wafting smells in the shopping malls across America, Cinnabon makes history by announcing they will not discriminate against black people anymore. They did in the preview. What? What? Racism, hate, police brutality, and denial of human rights have no place in our world. Yeah, I think we can all agree with that. But what's your catch? We share in the grief and the anger felt by so many of the standard men and the guessing communities and call for justice. We do not have all the answers. Oh, shut up. Ugh. Carbonated high fructose corn syrup manufactures stun soft weak industry by boldly announcing black people are free to drink their soda, ending speculation. Sprite. Black Lives Matter. We stand with the black community. You see where I'm going with this? Skunky beer manufacturer courts African Americans to drink their product. Our purpose is to bring people together. We stand with people, with black employees, partners, and communities. Hate, prejudice, and discrimination will never have a seat at our table. Again, why would there be? And of course, not to be outdone, Sporting Goods Source, which doesn't care about daily murders in Chicago or any other major city, jumps on the bandwagon after media circuits spirals out of control. Big Five Sporting Goods. I don't even know they're in business. And team members, we are deeply saddened to serve by recent senseless tragedy, tragedies in our nation. We hope that the current national conversation and peaceful, peaceful protests, where the hell have you guys been, will lead to a meaningful and lasting change that this moment will ultimately become. Burger joint single handedly ends racism by tweeting they're against it. What a burger. Oh, for Christ's sake. The events of the past two weeks have left us heartbroken. The tragic death of George Floyd. And, by the way, George Floyd was an angel, but he didn't deserve to die. And radical, <laughs> radical injustice, racial injustice, that still exists in our world causes so much pain. Again, let's, let's go back to what happened to that cop who put his knee on George Floyd's neck. We don't know if it's racism, but automatically we're to this point where everything was racism. Mm, I'd like to challenge that narrative, okay? Dare I say, challenge. It has to stop and we want to help. Blah, 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 blah. Chicken joint plagued by boycotts after branded homophobic makes desperate attempt to avoid being branded white supremacist too. We... <laughs> words are not enough and they sometimes aren't the right words but we want to say something racism should have no place in society not now not ever it cannot be tolerated really when 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 do where the hell was i when this racism that just exploded all of a sudden popped up we weren't racist when obama was elected two terms but now all of a sudden we are and we're we, and companies got to say don't be racist yeah, I know. I'm not. So why are you browbeating me with this bullcrap? Fast food chain admits cultural appropriation, square hamburger idea stolen from a black man. Oh, for Christ's sake. Our voice should be nothing without black culture. Right now, a lot of people are hurting because blatant racism against black people. Their voices need to be heard, period. For Christ's sake. Are you serious? So they're the only... So it was a black guy. It wasn't anybody before that. It could have been an Italian, a Chinese, a Mongolian, if you will, that decided to cut a hamburger in a square 
shoe company bravely declares that they will sell shoes to black people no matter what anyone says. That's been a problem before? I don't think it has. This is our commitment to the black community and world. We can change and we will. This is just a start. I, I don't... Popular toy manufacturer shocks the industry by announcing that black children can play with their toys too. Again, what? <laughs> Popular crayon company whose products have been used by children for generations finally reveals that it's not just for white children. Really? I didn't know that. In a stunning turning events, Chili's Restaurants releases a statement that they are not, I repeat, not racist. Together we can change for the better and we will. We stand with the black community in the fight against racism starts within and we're looking inward. Really? Jesus Christ. Popular restaurant chain reveals that they will serve black customers in years of speculation. Oh my God. I notice how they, I don't know if he did it, but black lives. Popular toothpaste company reveals for the first time that gay people brush their, peep, their teeth too. Really? Disposable mop company bravely announces white supremacy in years of rumors that they were a company stood on race. Pantene Pro-V, a popular shampoo brand, finally reveals they don't hate black people. Pampers knocks down rumors that they make the diapers for white babies only. Really? Tide Laundry Detergent announces that black people can use their product without, and they're not Nazis. So as you can see how this is going. Crazy enough, it's hit country music too. Country band Lady Antebellum changes name to Lady A because of slavery reference. It was... Don't news to me. White liberal celebrities post cringe inducing video about racism and social media torches him. Did black people ask for this? And you have these complete and utter feckless douchebags come out and say, We don't like racism. Yeah. I don't either. I think it's abhorrent. But guess what? You got these a holes in black and white. Aw, isn't that special? White liberal celebrities compiled a video to apologize for not opposing racism enough. How much more can you oppose it? Are you supposed to go out there and fight it with what? Words? That's the only thing you can do peacefully because this is a supposed to be a peaceful society. This video includes Sarah Paulson, Julianne Moore, Kristen Bell, Kesha, and Aaron Paul, the usual suspects of leftist douchebags. Oh, I take responsibility for every unchecked moment, for every time it was easier to ignore than to call it out for what it is, every not-so-funny joke, every unfair stereotype, blah, 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 moving along. Anytime fitness apologize for franchise ease, I can't breathe, themed workout. Stupid, and even not funny, but it's not the company in and of itself, it's a franchisee, what do they have to apologize for? Ah, we're back to this again. Senate committee votes to require renaming of military bases named after Confederates. Again, I'm surprised, and I'm not really surprised the GOP bent the knee to the her, Senator Elizabeth Warren, a complete and utter feckless douche canoe. <laughs> canoe, get it? Canoe, Pocahontas. Berkeley College. Prestigious music college practically trips over itself in profuse apologies for letting cops use restroom during protest. Yeah, God forbid we be humans to each other because that would be, you know, against the narrative. And finally, Birmingham cancels contract with church after pastor liked social media posts from Charlie Kirk. Oh no! So here's where, we are, here's where we're at, folks. The outrage mob continues on. We got companies just bending over backwards saying they're not racist when no one ever accused them of being racist to be before. But that begs the question. So you're not racist now, but were you racist before? I don't know. Ice Cube out there who's <laughs> who's basically bent over backwards to say that the Jews are the evil people. That's Ice Cube, by the way. And Taco Bell. When I eat at a restaurant, can I mute my butt? Please advise. 
We're muting channels for the rest of the week to reflect, learn, and listen. This is all garbage. This is all virtue signaling. They don't care. Now, they maybe care that they're probably not racist, but now they're trying to virtue signal to the world. They're not racist. So they're reflecting inward. They want people of color. Does that include me? Because my skin color, that's a color, right? Does that include me? Com- Fortune 500 companies, are you including me and my family? And by the way, I have a mixed race family. Are you including us? Or are we put out to pasture because we don't have the correct skin color now? Is that it? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I would like to know. But you know what? All this virtue signaling will virtually come to an end, thankfully, because this has got to stop. This outward virtue signals, this got to stop. It has to. Because if it keeps continuing on, I may be out of things to buy because there's going to be so many companies out there that aren't going to stop this nonsense.